WOTV 41, Battle Creek, Kalamazoo. Good evening, I'm Jane Brierly. This is News Center 8 at 6. I'm with us tonight is Bill Freeman from our Kalamazoo Bureau. Nice to have you with us, Bill. Thank you. Rick Roberts, Suzanne Jeha, Craig James, and Warren Reynolds. This is News 8 Tonight. Good evening, and thank you for joining us this Friday. Coming up tonight on News 8, two friends... Michigan's team to watch. This is News 8 tonight. A tragic mistake has resulted in the deaths of 290 passengers on board an Iranian plane today in the Persian Gulf. Good evening this Sunday night. I'm Lynn Carthay. From West Michigan's team to watch, this is News 8 tonight. Winter has taken hold of West Michigan tonight and doesn't want to let go. Bone chilling temperatures, wind chills of 30 to 40 degrees. Come on to the desk, only on TV8. From West Michigan's team to watch, this is News 8 tonight. Don't go up. Gus Macker players tried to pretend it wasn't happening, but in the end, rain forced organizers to halt the Dave's day's play. Good evening this Saturday. I'm Lynn Carthane. And I'm Ernie Reno. Tournament officials say they waited as long as they could. This is WOTV, Grand Rapids. From West Michigan's Team for the 90s, this is the News 8 Night Team. Jerry Barnaby, Suzanne Jeha, and meteorologist Craig James. This is News 8, live at 5. Let the games begin, folks. Exciting action down here in the Pontiac Silverdome as Schoolcraft takes on Ravenna High School in a state football championship. How's it going, everybody? I'm Jerry Barnaby. Welcome to Live at Five. I'll tell you, excitement personified down here. This is Wood TV 8 Grand Rapids. First team for news in West Michigan. This is News 8 at 6. This is the first time in my life it came this close to my neighborhood, and I've been staying here 26 years. And like, you know, I got my neighbors are worried about a shooting at a Grand Rapids Park in broad daylight today. Hi everybody, I'm Tom Van House. Suzanne Jiha is off tonight. Police are looking live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Larry Neenhouse, Linda White. Warren Reynolds, meteorologist Terry DeVore, and Jerry Barnaby. This is 24-Hour News 8. In a robbery attempt last February, 60-year-old Rodney Corp was shot... Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Suzanne Jiha, Linda White, meteorologist Craig James, and Heather Heron with health. This is 24-Hour News 8. Michigan officials say if the tobacco companies are going to profit from a, selling a product that makes people... Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Suzanne Jiha, Tom Van Howe, meteorologist Craig James, and Jack Doles with sports. This is 24-Hour News 8. A gasoline tanker is burning at this hour out of control on Interstate 96 in downtown Grand Rapids. Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Susan Shaw, Tom Van Howe, meteorologist Craig James, and Jack Doles with sports. This is 24-hour News 8. My biggest concern was then to get in the building, get a hold of my... First, best, live from Wood TV 8, Susan Shaw, Larry Neenhouse, 
Meteorologist Craig James, Warren Reynolds, and Target 8 consumer investigator Christine Rohr. This is 24 Hour News 8. Raging forest fires have been a nightmare for firefighters, and now one Florida official says it is getting even worse. Good evening, everybody. A black bear wanders into a West Michigan campground, and we're not talking about Yogi. You'll hear from the folks who saw him up next. For Battle Creek and Kalamazoo, news with Larry Barrer, Jeff Tanchak with weather, and local sports with Billy Crooks. This is 41 News, your local news source. Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight. Live from West Michigan's news leader, this is 24-Hour News 8. Getting at-risk kids involved with the police before they're actually in trouble. That's a program that is working. Good evening, and thanks for joining us this Tuesday, July 18th. I'm Suzanne Jiha. When a teenager is in trouble, it can feel... ...picture of Grand Rapids. Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Suzanne Jiha, Larry Neenhouse, Linda White, Heather Heron, and meteorologist Craig James. 24-hour News 8 continues. Dealing with the illness of a loved one. Live from West Michigan's news leader, this is 24-hour News 8. It was along these rolling hills that a deadly crash woke res Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Susan Shaw, Larry Neenhouse, meteorologist Craig James, and Jerry Barnaby. 24-hour News 8 continues. The soaring cost of prescription drugs... Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Suzanne Jiha, Tom Van Howe, meteorologist Craig James, and Jack Doles with sports. 24-hour News 8 continues. Michigan is the only... We're coming up on News 8 next. Live from West Michigan's news leader, this is 24-hour News 8. A new owner and a new season, but the same old problem. 8. Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Susan Shaw, Tom Van Howe, meteorologist Craig James, and Jack Doles with sports. 24-hour News 8 continues. They are some of our best and our brightest. Gift <laughs> Creek and Kalamazoo. This is your morning news with Michelle Edmonds and the local weather forecast with Jeff Rent on 41 News this morning. We lose far too many people behind. With news from where you live, 41 News this morning continues. As we were talking about at the top of the show, much cooler out there this morning. Some local militia members are up in arms over what this pipeline is pumping into an area creek. Three more people are charged with being involved in a southwestern Michigan pyramid scheme. I'm Melissa Blasius, and I'll have a live report coming up. Good evening, and thanks for joining us this Wednesday. I'm Romaine Buck. And I'm Tim Malone. It's a battle over a pipeline that brought 50 law enforcement officers face-to-face for Battle Creek and Kalamazoo, this is your local news with Tim Malone and Romaine Buck. Local weather with Pam Land and sports highlights with Ken Hyde on 41 News. News from where you live. Welcome back, everyone. As we first told you several weeks ago... For Battle Creek and Kalamazoo, this is your local news with Romaine Buck and Ethan Forheads, local weather with Pam Land, and sports highlights with Ken Hyde on 41 News, news from where you live. Welcome back. There were mangled cars and bodies all over Detroit Road early this morning. From WOTV 41, Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, this is 41 News, news from where you live. American and Allied troops are closing in on Osama bin Laden, but sources say bin Laden has no intention being taken alive. And students at an area high school are shocked. One of their classmates is accused of molesting children. Good evening and thank you for joining us. There are reports tonight that Osama bin Laden has ordered his bodyguards to kill him. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us this Monday night. I'm Suzanne Chiha. I'm Brian Sterling. This is 24 Hour News 8 at 6.
On air and online, West Michigan's news leader is 24 Hour News 8. Well, it is hard to believe, but while we've had the sunshine here today, they've had a major snowstorm on the other side of the lake in Milwaukee. Let's take a From Wood TV, this is 24 Hour News 8 Daybreak. This is 24 Hour News 8 Daybreak with Teresa Weekly. Casey Jones, meteorologists Terry DeBoer and Matt Kirkwood, and traffic with Tom Hillen. This is 24 Hour News 8 at noon with Susan Shaw, Emily Leonard, and meteorologist Matt Kirkwood. From Wood TV, this is 24 Hour News 8. From Wood TV, this is 24 Hour News 8. Now at 6, a possible future for a long shuttered prison, an ICE detention center right here in West Michigan. What needs to happen before it becomes a reality and reactions from the locals tonight? A massive drug bust. This is 24 Hour News 8 at 5 with Susan Shaw, Brian Sterling, and meteorologist Bill. This is 24 Hour News 8 at 5 30 with Brian Sterling, Susan Shaw, and meteorologist Kyle Underwood. This is 24 Hour News 8 at 6 with Brian Sterling, Susan Shaw, meteorologist Bill Steffen, and sports director Jack Domes. From Wood TV, this is 24 Hour News 8 at 7. This is 24 Hour News 8 at 7 with Marley Getter and meteorologist Kyle Underwood. A side of the road delivery is how one family brought their son into the world. How the family is meeting the woman who coached dad through the delivery. Plus, Ellen has a look at your weekend forecast. The 7 on 8 starts in one minute. From Wood TV, this is 24 Hour News 8 at 7. Hi, everybody. This is 24 Hour News 8 at 10 with Marley Ginter. Brian Sterling, meteorologist Kyle Underwood, and sports director Jack Doles. This is 24 Hour News 8 at 11 with Brian Sterling, Marley Ginter, meteorologist Bill Steffen, and sports director Jack Doles. This is News 8 from Wood TV. Live from the Media Arts Center in downtown Grand Rapids. First this noon, police in Grand Rapids. This is News 8 from Wood TV. Now at 5 o'clock, hit at the bus stop. Two kids hit by... This is News 8 from Wood TV. Good evening to you and thanks for staying with us here at 630. I'm Leon Hendricks. We do begin this half hour with a look at your Storm Team 8 forecast. This is News 8 at 7 from Wood TV. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Leonard. We start with the winter weather moving into West Michigan. A big... You're watching WOTV ABC 41, Cable Channel 4.